Developing news. It has taken years, but as of tonight, it is legal to have and use recreational marijuana in Rhode Island. The next step is allowing stores to sell it. 12 News reporter Steph Machado joins us from the State House with reaction. Rhode Islanders can now possess, use, and even grow cannabis, but it will be another six months before sales begin. Cannabis legalized at the stroke of Governor Dan McKee's pen, the 19th state to do so, joining four other New England states that have also legalized. There is some good in not being the first into the industry. You see what other states have done. I think it's probably one of the best legalization bills. I, I'm a little biased. Representative Scott Slater and Senator Josh Miller were the lead sponsors in their respective chambers. Each had tried to get legalization passed for about a decade. The compromise that was struck creates a new three-member cannabis control commission that will eventually oversee the cannabis industry from the growers to the retailers to medical marijuana. The medical dispensaries are set to start selling recreation cannabis on December 1st. Eventually, up to 33 stores could open statewide. Cities and towns can ban the stores if they put the question to local voters this fall. The courts also have to get to work. They have two years to expunge marijuana possession records. There are at least 27,000 standalone possession charges, plus thousands more that need to be extracted from cases that had multiple charges. And I sought to bring my experience in dealing with expungement and having my record clean. State Rep Leonella Felix is credited with pushing to get expungement to be automatic. In the original bill, people would have needed to petition the courts to get their records wiped. Felix had her own record expunged years ago and says it was a complicated process. We, I didn't want the in my community to have to go through that burden of having to take all those extra steps to be able to receive the benefits, particularly when we're going to be receiving a lot of revenue. So how much revenue could this bring in? Well, we don't have a new estimate on the most recent version of this legislation, but the fiscal experts at the State House estimated in the previous version of the bill it could bring in $14 million in tax revenue to the state and $2.5 million to cities and towns in the first full year of sales. In Providence, I'm Steph Machado, 12 News.